All right, so listening to the lovely background music, uh, we are in where are we into in? the forest. We're, We're in, in Pangsong. Into the forest. So um, this is on the backside of Pangsong. We're a little past uh, what is that? Brownstone. Mm. Yeah, we're a little on the backside of Brownstone. Uh, this is a nice little place. It's kind of a brunchy, brunchy slash kind of weird. It's kind of almost coffee bar, almost sports bar. It's it's got a it's got a it's, awesome it's got a cool, vibe. It's got a vibe. It's a very chill, cool vibe. I love it. I love it. So today we are ordering a lot of food. Yes, we're gonna order lunch and some stuff to take home for dinner. So the reason why we're doing this is because they do have multiple things on their menu and we didn't wanna just show you one option. Yeah, they serve so, breakfast all day. Yes. And then they got regular like burgers and- And then pizza. And pizza so, and yeah. They also have coffee. We didn't order coffee today. Well, they have salads, but I mean- Yeah, they have salads. Who eats salads? Well, we do occasionally, but- Yeah, well. Yeah. We weren't feeling the salad vibe today. So the pizza will be, we'll eat a slice while we're here because... Just to check their pizza. Yeah, just to check it, but that's our dinner. The other is actually our meal, but we didn't want you to think like we were just going crazy. We're doing this for y'all, not for us. Just, just for y'all. Just for y'all. Also, I don't have to cook dinner now, so win-win for me. Hey. But anyways, Into the Forest, lovely little spot, uh, very cozy, just, it, I like, I don't know, I feel chill in here. It's a very chill vibe. Yeah. So, uh, while we're waiting on them to make our food, there's a bit of it, so it'll probably be a few minutes, I'm going to give y'all a bit of a walkthrough from the, uh, the parking lot. Yes, there is parking here. There's parking behind the building. Um, also, note there is a upstairs restaurant that serves, I believe, octopus something. Yeah, there, that, there's, there's another restaurant on the side. That also floor. shares parking with them. So if you see parking is full here, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's full in here. It could mean it's full upstairs. It could be both. You never know. Right. But, so I'll give you a quick walkthrough, starting from the, uh, the parking lot and through the the restaurant here so and I'm just gonna sit here yeah So our first food is up here, mm. which I can't really show on that camera. So I brought my your handy cam, my little handy cam. There we go. So this is relatively common in Korea for lettuces or uh, burgers to come with either romaine or red leaf lettuce because they don't really do iceberg all that often here. We got fries. Fries are good. Now you know why I keep eating your fries. She's telling me to get an all burger so she can keep eating my fries. I guess I'll have to share something from my breakfast, huh? Reposition the lettuce a little bit there. Looks like good bacon though. Yes, and that is an actual consideration. A lot of places in Korea, when you order bacon, it's either just Canadian thin, bacon. It's either Canadian bacon or it's thin cut um, some yupsel, which is uncured pork belly, which is not the same as bacon. And sometimes, even if it is bacon, they cook it a little less crispy. And they, less yeah, firm. Very, they do. They do a very floppy bacon. But this one is done well. This, this, this looks, looks like looks a well-done bacon. <laughs> All right, so a pretty decent bacon cheeseburger. It's got a honey mustard or some sort on the bottom. That's what that looked like, yeah. The burger patty's a bit on the well done side, but. But it tastes good? It's not bad. The cheese is melted. The cheese is melted. That's better than Burger King does usually. <laughs> <laughs> All in all, pretty fair burger. So. So burger, fries. Yeah. Thumbs up, two thumbs up. Here we come with something else. Well, I think here we come with the. With our pizza. Oh, with pizza. Yum. Oh, that looks good. Mm, it is. All right, for our second flyby. 
we're gonna get in here on the combination pizza. It's still hot. The cheese is kind of strong, mm. apparently. That is a really delicious pizza. Okay, the sauce on this one. I like the sauce. It reminds me, and y'all, this ain't a bad thing. I don't, I don't mean to vote, but it reminds me of like those, um, you remember those Chef Boyardee build your own pizza kits where it had the, the sauce and the... Yeah, but this sauce is much more robust. Yeah, it reminds me kind of that flavor though. It's just mm. better. Or much, much better. Like a homemade version of that. Yeah. But it's it's really good. I actually like that. I know that the cheese, there's pretty good coating of cheese on here. The veg, the meats, it's very well covered. It's it's perfect. I think the only thing that Chuck could, could say he doesn't like as much is probably he would prefer a crisper crust, but that is every everything. That's everywhere in Korea. All and we didn't ask for a crisp crust on this. That was really my fault. Yeah. All Korean places make their pizza a little on the soft side. I like it though a lot. We're good. I mean, the crust is good. It's actually not bad. And it's actually got a pretty good flavor to it too. I don't know what kind of oven he's using, but he does have some leoparding around the edges. So and he's... the back has a little bit of, as well. So. Brunch so. is here. Fly by on the brunch special. We got a little scrambled eggs. We got a little salad. Koreans put salad on a lot of things. Sausage. We got a sausage. That is a different sausage than the one kind we had last time, but we'll give it a try. Some bacon, some pancakes and French toast, and some fruit. And this is the Into the Forest brunch. So you can get the French toast separately. You can get the pancakes separately. This is just the one that comes with both. Mm. So as a side note, in case, uh, you know, nobody kind of put two and two together, this is a sit down and eat kind of place don't expect like fast food you're not gonna get like mcdonald's two minutes and out the door kind of thing although even if at mcdonald's you can get two minutes and out the door i'd be impressed that's a good sausage it's not bad it's more of a more of a british style sausage it's more of a more of a banger than a i think than a than an American breakfast sausage. It's good with honey mustard though. It works. Mm. It's for all the fries I ate. But you can't have my bacon. It does work pretty well with the honey mustard. Let's see how them French tasting, French tasting, French tasting, French tasting pancakes come out. <laughs> French toast and pancakes come <laughs> out. I do love good bacon. For the days when you can't decide, do you want French toast or do you want pancakes? At the end of the forest, you the don't have to choose. Yes. <laughs> I like that. That's good. <laughs> I'm trying to feed him while he's feeding himself. It's just a good combo. Good consistency. Mm. French toast is a little on the thin side. It's like regular sandwich bread. All right, so I but will say for the eggs, the I pancakes love- pancakes are good. I love that the, scram the eggs are scrambled. Yes. And they're hot and they're tasty. The eggs are good. This is good. So all in all, if you don't know what you want to eat, there's, and you're in Pangsong. There's some options. There's This place has a, a pretty good selection, so. Or if you have somebody that wants pizza, somebody that wants burgers, mm -hmm. and somebody that wants brunch, come here. That's a good option. Mm. Even with salads. Yeah. So, fully recommend. Two thumbs up. Mm. More, two, two more. Yeah. Sorry, I'm hungry, y'all. I'm gonna eat yeah. my breakfast. He already well, ate his whole burger. Yeah, we're hungry. We'll see y'all here. Like, subscribe. Do all that internet Do stuff. Do the internet stuff. We'll see you next time.